welcome back to Rustic and Lace DIY. Today is another minis challenge hosted by Corey. I crafted with Corey and this month's theme is Christmas in July. That's why I'm wearing the red shirt. <laughs> so if you're new here, welcome. My name is Brenda and I am so happy you stopped by today. If you're returning, oh, you guys know I love you. So with all that being said, let's get to crafting. Okay, here's DIY number one. So for this DIY, I'm going to use my Rust-Oleum chalk paint in the color linen white. This uh, little box that I got from Dollar Tree last Christmas. Uh, some tumbling tower blocks. I actually used six of them, I believe. This um, wood block from Dollar Tree. And then some of these teeny mini little Christmas trees. I think I got those at... Hobby Lobby last year. So I started off by painting that little white uh, square white and then I'm cutting out um, the front of this box. Maybe it's the back. I don't know. Just one of the sides. <laughs> and then I'm just going to trim it all down and it I didn't have to cut a whole lot and it fits just almost perfectly right onto that square. So I'm going to use my Elmer's glue. I did use a little hot glue on the ends too to make sure that it had immediate hold. Um, but then I'm just adding that front of the box onto that square. Then I decided to cover up the edges with some ribbon and plus I wanted to incorporate some of this um, buffalo check ribbon. So I'm just using some hot glue and I am just um, gluing it onto the top and the edges and it's just like wrapping it kind of um, and I just go all the way around doing that I don't do the bottom I just do the top and the sides because I'm going to put some tumbling tower blocks on the bottom of it and then um, after I have this all hot glued onto the back here I will cut off that ribbon and then do the other side and then um, once I was done with that, I took my tumbling tower blocks and I am hot gluing three of them together and I'm making two strips of three. And once I have that all done, I am going to use these as the base for my sign. So I'm just using some wood glue and hot glue and I'm going to glue one of them on the front of my sign here. And then I'm going to glue the other one to the back using the wood glue and the hot glue again. And this is really all I have. I think a few more embellishments that I'm going to do, but super, super easy project. And I love those boxes. They have some beautiful boxes um, every year at, at Dollar Tree. And I just loved this one. So I also decided I wanted a little bit more of that buffalo check ribbon on the bottom. So I just added some on the top of the base there. And then I'm just hot gluing some of these little mini trees um, to the front of the, the sign here. And then I had a couple that were just a little bit bigger. And I'm going to hot glue them on the very back as well. Now, I don't remember for sure if I got these at Hobby Lobby or if I got them at Dollar Tree. I know I got some at Hobby Lobby last year and I got some at Dollar Tree. So you can uh, find them at either place. So usually, <laughs> not this time of year, but in a couple of months. <laughs> and so then after I had um, them, I did two on each side. Then I took some jute string or jute rope, whatever you want to call it. And I'm just putting a little bit of it right there um, at the edge. And then I'm just wrapping the top with this. I kind of wanted to cover. I didn't really like the way the corners looked of that um, ribbon. So I just kind of wanted to just kind of disguise it a little bit with my twine. So I'm just going to hot glue that around just like you see me doing there. And uh, whew, it's warm. You guys, I can't believe we're doing Christmas and it's 100 degrees outside. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I took a some more twine. I wrapped it around my hand about five, six times. And then I'm just taking the um, ends of the twine and wrapped around it and tied a knot and then I just cut them off and I'm just making a twine bow and putting that right on the top and that's all there was for this one and I love it I think it just it's so cute you'll have to let me know what you think about this one as well in the comment box below
Okay, so today is the minis challenge and it is hosted every month by Corey with Crafted by Corey. If you don't know who she is, she does amazing DIYs and she is so sweet. So make sure you check out her channel. You won't be disappointed. And then check out the playlist. This month's theme is a uh, you guessed it, Christmas in July. And uh, so make sure you check out the playlist and her channel to get all kinds of Christmas in July minis ideas. <laughs> so here we are for DIY number two. So with this DIY, I'm going to use some material I just got like a couple of days ago from Walmart. This uh, jar, mason jar from Dollar Tree, and then my jute cord from Walmart. I'm going to use my chalk couture chalk paste in the colors bright white, candy, apple, and pesto. I'm going to use one of these little um, chalk couture mini transfers, and that's the Christmas minis. I don't know if they'll have the same ones this year. This was last year's. And then I'm using um, one of these borders from this big, huge transfer set called Fa La La La. I'm not sure if they'll have this one either. I, this one might have been a discontinued one. Um, but I'm going to start out by removing that hanger and then sanding the holes a little bit in the back because it had a staple in it. Then I removed that bow and then I'm just taping off where those lines were because I still wanted them on there. I didn't want to um, put anything over it. Then I took my little mini here and I'm fuzzing it. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Chalk Couture, these are adhesive stencils and they have a silk screen in them. And so we fuzz them because if you don't, the adhesive on the back is really strong. And if you don't fuzz it, then it could stick to your surface and pull up the paint or stretch your um, transfer. So I started off by taking my red here, my candy apple red, and I'm using my multi-tool because it's a little smaller. And I'm just going around and I am using the red on the berries only on the top part of this transfer and then I'm going through and using my pesto to color in the greenery leaves and then I'm going to use white to do the words now I am just doing the top half of this um, transfer because it takes a little bit to do all those different colors and I didn't want the paste to dry onto that silk screen because if it dries when you pull it up then it will pull it up with it and it will look like ugliness so <laughs> I've learned by uh, mistakes myself so anyways um, but once I get done getting the white on here then I'm just going to pull up half of that transfer the part that I just used my paste on and then lightly lay it down and then I will continue um, doing the rest just like I did on that one. And it's just it's just an easy method and it it's um, it really does help in the help it look nice when you pull it off. So once I had it all done, I just pulled it off and look how beautiful it is. And then I added this transfer and I am just doing a part of this border here on the bottom and then I'm just going to do part of it on the top as well and look at oh it's just beautiful I love it and then luckily this uh it doesn't matter if you're going which direction you're going because they're it's all the same so I just turned my jar around make it a little easier so I didn't have to worry about it touching the other paste and then once it was done I um rinsed off my transfers and then I took some of this material and I'm just cutting some out here and I am just using my hot glue and I'm just kind of bunching it up so it looks like, um, you know, how mason jars, the old ones, you know, have the jar, or the fabric around them sometimes. <laughs> Anyways, that's what I'm trying to do. So I just hot glued that in place and then I'm taking some of this ribbon that I got last year at Christmas from Walmart and I am just hot gluing it around um, the top part here. And I wanted this to look country-ish, country farmhouse, I guess. And then after that, I was like, okay, I wanna wrap some twine around this as well. So I just wrapped some twine around it, tied it in a knot in the back and then trimmed it. And then I made a, a, a bow with the twine, just a regular shoestring bow. And then I'm making just a regular shoestring bow with uh, my gingham ribbon here. And then I'm just gonna add the gingham ribbon to the 
mason jar and then the um, little jute ribbon on top of that um, gingham ribbon. Of course, I got to dovetail the ends first. And then once I have that on there, I'll add the, the twine bow. And then I am going to add, I believe, some tumbling tower blocks um, that I had already. They were already painted. I had previously used them for another project that uh, didn't turn out. So I, I thought I'll just keep these and use them whenever I need them. So I'm just gluing uh, two of them together end to end and I am going to hot glue them onto the back just like you see. And I'm going to use hot glue this, I guess just hot glue this time. And that's all there was. And there it is. I love it. You'll have to let me know what you think about this one as well. And if you're ever interested in Chalk Couture, you can always email me with any questions or check out my site for Chalk Couture. I have the link down in my description box below. Also, you can follow me on social media and my links to my social media accounts are in the link tree in my description box below, as well as with other accounts that I'm affiliated with as well. Okay, so DIY number three. So for this DIY, I am going to use a decal that just says Merry Christmas that I created on my Cricut. And then I'm taking some of these um, leftover pieces of bamboo sticks that I had uh, from a previous uh, project that I did just recently. And I'm gonna use one of these mini little wreaths from Hobby Lobby, this sign from Dollar Tree, and then my apple barrel, snow white paint and my crimson by waverly so i'm going to start off by removing this flower and i didn't care if i ripped it i really didn't think i would ever use it um, it is just foam so foam and felt i think so i just i'm using my little um, cricut tool i did end up using my heat gun because it was just kind of hard to pull up um, and then once i got that up i just kind of sanded down those areas to make it smooth i could should have sanded down the happy Happiness is you a little bit more, but that's okay. I just had to paint, use extra paint. So I painted it all with my red there. And once it was dry, I am taking these sticks and I took some and I cut them down to fit the top and I um, made the edges angled. And then I cut two littler pieces too. And I'm gonna add them on the very end. But here I think I had cut one of those pieces too short. So I'm just making a new one here. Um, and you'll see that's how you use a my dear shear if you don't have any i would invest in them because i love them they work out great for things like this so that's um what i do here i make two longer pieces and two smaller pieces for the the roof and i'm just cutting that one to make it fit this the right size and then i um, had another piece that i cut down to go along the top straight part there and now i'm just cutting some pieces to make a doorway and after that I um, took another piece and I'm cutting it down the middle of it because I wanted the piece that goes inside the doorway to be thinner and then I'm just trimming them down and um, doing the edge as well I'm trying to think angling the edge that's what I'm looking for and then I painted them all white and then I am hot gluing. So here I am hot gluing the parts that go onto the top of the roof. And then I'm adding these little pieces here, just like that. And I'm hoping they stay and don't break off because it's just a little bit of it being glued on. Ugh. Anyways, <laughs> and then I took this longer piece. I'm using my wood glue and hot glue, and I'm just putting that right towards the top of our barn here. Then after that, I am just hot, or using wood glue and hot glue to put our door together. And then once I had that done, I'm just adding the middle pieces here. And I'm just going to use, I think I just use hot glue on them. And then the other, the second piece that I put on here, I will cut in half. I'm just trying to get the right measurements. And then I'm going to cut it. And then I will just um, put one piece on the top part of that. X and the other one on the bottom and I angled the ends as well just the top and the bottom end then after I had them all glued on I took this little wreath and I cut off the hanger and I'm just gonna hot glue it right on top of my barn 
Then I'm gonna take my decal and I'm just gonna put it on, did you see that? I almost put it to where the S would have been off the, <laughs> the bar and that would not have been good. Oh my goodness, anyways, I'm so glad I caught that before I laid it down. <laughs> there it is, I love it. You'll have to let me know what you think about this, but it was, other than cutting down all that wood, it was really simple, but I just, I really love this. I love how it looks. Maybe I should have sprayed some spray snow on it. That would have made it really cute too. Okay, so it is time for a celebration of your recreations. And I received this email from Angie. Oh my goodness, Angie, this is beautiful. I love your farmhouse sign. Oh, it is just, oh, I just love it. <laughs> Thank you so much for sending that, Angie. I just, I appreciate it so much. Okay, if you have any kind of picture of a creation or recreation that you have made um, and would like me to showcase it, just send it to me in my email address that's in the description box below or through Instagram or Facebook Messenger. So here's DIY number four. So for this DIY, I'm gonna use these wood pieces that I believe I got these from Dollar Tree. Um, and then my, I got those poinsettias from Hob Hobby Lobby last year. This I got at a garage sale, but you can get those at Dollar Tree. And then I'm using my crimson and my ink by chalk, uh, chalk paint by Waverly. Oh my goodness. And my um, Buffalo Check vinyl from Dollar Tree. So I'm going to start off by painting all around the edge of this little plaque here. I'm not painting the middle. I put a little bit of paint on the edges of the middle just in case I cut my buffalo check wrong. <laughs> it blends a little bit better, but I didn't. It works, worked out great. But anyways, after that, I painted the J and the Y with a um, with my ink color, my black color. Then I took uh, some of this vinyl and cut it down to fit the middle, and I'm putting it on there. And yes, I know the colors reds are a little bit different, but that's okay. I'm going to do something to kind of help with that. So I took my white metallic paint pen from Dollar Tree and I'm just going around the Y and the J and making stitch marks. And then after I do that, I'm going to hot glue them in place. And the nice thing about the Buffalo check is it kind of helps, has lines, so it helps you put those uh, letters on even. Then I took a red poinsettia and put it in the middle, but I do change this out in a minute. Then I, I was trying to figure out what to put around the block, around this, and um, I was looking at some stuff and my husband, for those of you who don't know, he loves blingy, glitzy stuff. And he wanted me to put something like that on here. I'm like, no, no, no. So I found this, I'm like, what about this? And I wrapped it around, showed him, and he's like, <gasps> I love it. <laughs> so because he loved it so much, I had to go with it. I liked it too, but it just cracked me up his response. But anyways, this is just yarn that I got from, it was in my stash from um, some stockings that I made, but I did get it from Hobby Lobby. So I decided since I used that white, I needed to change out my poinsettia. So I went ahead and changed it out for, for one of the white ones. And then I took some more twine and just made another bow like I did before. And this time I didn't cut off the legs, I just trimmed them down a little bit. And then here I'm just adding some tumbling tower blocks. I ended up having to use four. I added two onto the back and then two more on top of that just to get it to balance right. And there it is, I, I love it. I think it's really cute. You have to let me know what you think about this one as well. Okay, for the final DIY number five. So for this one, is, uh, let's see, I'm going to use my Waverly chalk paint in the color ink and crimson again. This little ornament I got from Hobby Lobby last year at Christmas. This little uh, cutting board from Dollar Tree. And then, of course, my jute cord twine. So I just start off by painting that... Um, cutting board black and the ornament red and then I am just taking my cashew and I'm doing a little distressing yes distressing and I love the way this comes out and the reason why I decided to do that was because some of that paint uh natural color was showing through and I loved the way it looked so then I decided to go ahead and do some distressing on my cutting board here too and I just love this anyways and then after I got done uh going all around this I'm just going to hot glue that ornament in place and be careful because there's a lot of holes so you don't want to burn yourself. And then after that, I took my jute twine and I'm just going to hot glue it in the back and wrap it around. 
And I just wrap and wrap and wrap and wrap and wrap until I was tired of wrapping or until I thought it looked good. <laughs> and then once I get done wrapping here, I am going to cut it and hot glue the little part into the back. I was trying to push it down. I felt like there was too many gaps there. So I was just kind of trying to put it, push it down. Um, but then I'm going to do that and I'm going to add this bow. And oh my goodness, I almost forgot. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Brenda. If you like today's video and you like home decor on a budget, holiday decor, thrift flips, gift ideas, then hit that red subscribe button, become part of our family. And I'd love to hear from you. Let me know in the comment box that you are new. Yes, anyways. So, okay, thank you. Got that out of the way. <laughs> then I added a little poinsettia there and there it is. I really love this one too. I just think it is so adorable. You have to let me know what you think as well and which one was your favorite today. And if you're going to be recreating any, make sure you send me that picture. I'd love to showcase it for you. So here is a picture of the final reveal. Make sure again, guys, you check out Corey's channel and make sure you check out the playlist and enjoy some fun Christmas mini DIYs. And I will be back. Um, again on I think I have a special video for you guys on Monday but I will be back for sure on Tuesday and with all that being said don't forget to hit that red subscribe button like comment and have a blessed week I'll see you on the next one bye bye